up, YouTube Tench Arizona, the angry Dracolope of the Jackalope crew here, and I have an unboxing video for you today. So without any further ado, let's get on with it. Okay, so as I was saying before, I have an unboxing for you today. And to do the unboxing, I'm going to be using my Victorinox Swiss Army knife. So let's get on with this, shall we? Now I'm sure this thing needs resharpening, as it often does. Get rid of the invoice, we don't need that. But what we do need is this, this, and this. And I think that's it. Yep, that looks like that's it. Unless there's anything, oh wait, there is. And of course, we have a little mini morale patch from Heine Haynes. So, what we've got here is the Cold Steel Pro Light. And yes, I know it's upside down, it's because of the way I'm working on the monitor. There we go, Cold Steel Pro Light. And two CRKTs the Noma Compact, which is in this box, and the Pangolin. So, which one of these should I start with looking at? <laughs> well, I'm going to start with the CRKT Noma Compact. Which is a nice looking little knife. I like the pocket clip on it. Lock back. Quite a small blade. Kind of a Skinner style, I'd say. Trying to get it in frame here, sorry about this. It's a little bit awkward because I'm working backwards. But yeah, that one's the Noma Compact, which is 8 CR13 MOV steel. A steel I've used quite a bit and I do like it. Appears to be pretty sharp. So that's the first of my recent acquisitions. Let's just get the box out of the way. And we're going to continue on with the next folder, which is the Cold Steel Pro Light. I got it in black. And this is my first Cold Steel folder that features the Triad Lock. And yeah, very solid lock up. Stonewash finish on the blade. The blade is Krupp's 4116 stainless steel. Handle scales, I'm not sure what material the handle are. handles are on this. I wasn't really paying attention when I ordered it. Nice little pocket clip. And again, the cold steel triad lock. So that's the second blade. Now, I'm not doing testing on this video because I've got to keep it short. Now on to the third blade. Again, sorry about this. I'm kind of working upside down through the viewfinder which is ironic considering it flipped around on my camera. <laughs> and this one is the CRKT Pangolin, which also comes, which I'm, something I'm not familiar with, a tech lock by the looks of it. Uh, I'll just get it out the bag so you can have a proper look. Yeah, so it looks like it's coming with a tech lock, or something very similar to a tech lock. So that I like. Just press a button, unlock it, and then locks back on. Uh, you can kind of make out the writing, I think. Uh, help if I have it in frame, wouldn't it? Uh, so... Yeah, I don't know if you can make out the right in there, because I can't quite get it to focus, but yeah, kind of a tech lock thing. Get the bags out of the way. Again, and here's the knife itself. Little moulded plastic sheath, not Kydex, just moulded plastic. And again, CRKT8, CR13, MOV stainless steel. And this is an RMJ tactical designed blade and I've got to admit it's smaller than I thought it would be but I like it it's got a nice style kind of 
puts me in mind, blade size at least, of the Topps Taibo, which is, as many of you know, one of my favourite knives. Bit of a different blade style, but kind of the same size on blade, full size handle. Nice grip on that, no hot spots. Nice jimping on the back of the blade, actually. That's really functional. Black traction coating. I'm not overly fond of that coating, regardless of what blade it is on. So, we'll see how that goes as I use the knife. I might end up taking that coating off. And again, we'll give you a little look at the blade here. And again, this is 8CR13 MOV, the favoured steel of CRKT. At least that's what it was listed as on the website. I'm not too sure though, because you usually would not put a traction coat in on that type of stainless steel. So it could actually be carbon steel. I'll do some more research into it, but yeah, I am pretty sure that this is 8CR13 MOV as well. And of course, in this little plastic bag, a mini Heine Haynes morale patch which will be going on my patch panel because I've got no more space on my bag. Anyway, and here's the fasteners for the Pangolin's carry clip. Uh, yeah, as you can see, I'm not used to uh, using the camera in this orientation. So there's the fasteners. There we go. And I'll be fitting that clip to the sheath later on and probably putting it on my combats, even though I really shouldn't be carrying a blade like that where I am now, but I'll put it on just to see how it carries on my current belt. Anyway, that's all for now. If you like it, like it, please subscribe, comment and share. And remember, be good to each other.